can see them, I'm gonna try to zoom in on it. I didn't think about pulling out the camera until they got way on down the road. But that's a tandem bicycle with two people on it, going 90 to nothing in the rain. Look at the cows lined up. They, he just let them in. And by the time I cut the camera on, he stopped them. Wow, it's amazing how they just line up. There's one coming out. <laughs> Had one too many. She ain't letting nobody go first. She's got herself. There's a big one coming up trying to get in line. All right, I just thought I'd show you the milking process. Mighty early in the morning, but man, with this new head body that I got from uh, A&B Cycles, it's really good. All right, there's the sun coming up. I gotta go. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but this is, I had to stop because it's coming up and this was the only place that I could actually see the ball. Maybe later I get a, well, by the time I get around the corner here, it'll already be up. Well, shoot. Well, this is what it looks like at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, that would be pretty if I was in the right place. I'm not in the right place to get it. I'll try. Try to zoom in and take a picture. Wow. Oh, that would be so cool if I was in the right place. All right, I'm gonna get on down the road. Well, let me just start off by saying I am really happy to see this get cleaned and cleared out and he's going to try to do his best to preserve it. I know we got that one tree right in the doorway of what is a cellar, but he did give me permission to film and video and he's preserving it. You can see the bottom down in there. You can't see much, but you can see that it's not that deep it might not show up on camera with this light but that's okay it is a unique piece of ozark history and there's a lot of them already been tore out but this one is in shape and doing good so i'm happy to see them preserve it and he said he was going to keep it. I asked him about it and a week later he cleaned it up. It is beautiful. Show you angle from this side. It was built a long time ago. If anybody knows how old this is, let me know. I would really like to know. Oh, it's beautiful. There's his house. Take a good picture. I don't know. All right, people, I thought I'd show you that. He's dragging that, that pipe through there. Look at that. He's gonna tell them how many feet he needs. He's pacing it off. He's looking to see where he's at with it. Ho! <laughs> Damn, he's going across the road. We gotta have enough for the pole. Oh, yeah. 
Are you gonna put a pole? You gonna put a pole here? Yeah. Right there uh, yeah. Now we just don't need a car to run over it. Yeah, they're getting it out of the road. I knew they would. Putting it in the hole. <laughs> I've never seen a red one run up a pole. That's going to be real colorful. Well, just the pipe off of the cable guard. Ah, cable guard. Like that one back there? Yeah. Okay. Like Little bitty bird hanging on to the wall. He's a baby. Wow. <laughs> He's gotta let go and fly one day as soon. <laughs> yeah. Alright people. Been here five times. I got one more time to come. To get to 107. I feel like I got energy, uh, but I'm gonna get me one of them uh, low carb burgers here in a minute. After I stretch a little more, I've already stretched and I pulled out the camera in case the bird flew off. I wanted to get a picture and video of him, but uh, I won't go ahead and tell you this. Uh, I had purposely intended to take two days off yesterday and the day before. I had a colonoscopy test. My uh, really cool female doctor, she uh, talked me into doing it. She tried to get me to do it uh, two years. And uh, I did like most men. I pronosticated and didn't do it. And uh, so I went in for the, you know, regular annual checkup and all my blood work, everything was great. And she uh, mentioned that uh, we had really good test on my prostate and yeah <laughs> if you're uh, a male and you get 55 to 60 you need to have your prostate checked there's blood tests for it there's uh, the other kind of test for it <laughs> and uh, a lot of men are dying with prostate cancer that don't need to be it's too easy to catch it early and do something about it it's one of the most preventable diseases that and uh, rectal colon cancer stomach cancer all of that needs to be checked now i don't believe in doctors i don't like doctors when it comes to you know the medical model and the way that they've been trained and taught i use them like you use a plumber go in look at it and I, look when i had my colonoscopy yesterday I didn't have uh, no, <laughs> what do you call that? Dang, skipped my mind. I didn't take no uh, shots or, you know, no drug to, to, for the pain. It ain't painful. I did it without anesthesia. No anesthesia, no pain medicine, no feel-good medicine, none of that. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. Last month was 30 years. I was 28 when I quit drinking. And it was in the month of May, at the end of the May, month of May is when I, I actually quit drinking. Quit smoking cigarettes, quit coffee, caffeine, quit drinking pop for years and years. I didn't even drink a soda. And uh, smoking three and four packs a day, quit it all at 28. That's a whole nother long story to talk about sometimes and let y'all understand how to, how I did it and why I was able to do it and do it so easy. The cigarettes were the hardest thing. Let me get back on track. The thing is, I see a lot of men getting uh, diagnosed way late, stage three, stage four, and it's because they got symptoms. You've got to get this thing checked early. It's plumbing. He said that I did a really good job on my prep. Prep means that I clean myself out. 
I actually started cleaning myself out two days earlier than they said. They say the day before. That ain't, that ain't enough. I, uh, I started two days earlier. And actually that whole, leading up to it, that whole week I was eating really healthy light foods, food of the light, you know, like vegetables. And uh, it's so easy to do this test. If you're a man out there and you're riding the bikes, you're watching me on Strava, you see me on Facebook, if you, if you even uh, got, had been told by your doctor, you know, it's time to get the test, 55 to 60 is when you really want to do it. Don't keep putting it off. It's easy, it's not a hard test, it's, it's not painful. I did it without uh, any pain medicine. I watched the camera all the way. <laughs> I've seen everything the doctor's seen, and all he's seen was a, a healthy, a healthy image on that screen. Everything he, everything he said was great. And uh, so, if I can inspire one person to get that test, and you may, you know, save your life by knowing that you're clean, or you ain't got any problem. That just gives you peace of mind, no stress, no nothing. But if he had have found something in me, he would have took it out like a polyp. He would have took it out right there on the spot and wouldn't have had a, a problem in the world with it. Uh, I just had to come back in in five years to be checked again. Now I don't have to come back in for 10 years. But I, who knows, I may come in early just to be on the safe side. It's preventable cancer. Prostate cancer is preventable. Colon cancer is preventable. If I can inspire anybody, I'd love to tell you how, how easy it was to do the test. It ain't nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. There's no reason for men to wait until they're 70 and 80 and start having symptoms of blood, blood in their urine and blood in their stool. They do it just it's too late. And that's, that's not normal to wait that long. But that society set up like that, people. Look, I love you. If, if, if you go get checked, that's great. If you, if you don't, just think about it. It's time to, you know, you don't want to wait after you're 65, 70. You want to do it while you're 55 to 60. All right, thank you. Well, I got caught in the rain right at my shed. <laughs> I believe this is the third time that I have made it to the shed before getting saturated. That is really good timing. Three times that it's rained that I got caught in it, I've managed to make it to this shed. Now is that having faith? You better believe it. I had a, I had faith I was gonna make it, and I did. I made it here. It's also I had a feeling. I had a feeling that I was gonna make it, and I had a feeling that that was okay. Either way, there was nothing I could do about it. I was gonna get wet, or I was gonna make it here and enjoy watching the rain fall and hearing distant thunder. These little pop-up showers like this shouldn't stop me too bad, but I don't know if I can go all the way back to Hardy's on this six lap. I'm gonna wait and see what happens, but uh, I can just go to Ozark and I'd have, I don't know, 90, four miles and I just need to scrub off another 10 or so to get over a little bit over a hundred if not a hundred and seven but that's what I'm shooting for and I'm gonna go on and put this out there because I got faith that my body's gonna regenerate and revitalize and recover tonight and I'm gonna, and the weather's gonna cooperate. See, it always has to be the weather cooperating 
and me waking up and feeling like I can do another hundred. But uh, I've got full intention to ride the next five days, but I know I can get a couple hundreds back to back in between maybe a short day or a break day. We'll see how it goes. But look at these clouds, people. They just came up out of nothing. It was blue skies and then all of a sudden, after I got out of the Hardys, it was coming in this direction from the west, moving towards the east. And it is raining really hard right over there. Boy, you hear that, the thunder and lightning is coming from right over there. But look, back behind it is, without getting this camera wet, it's fairly blue skies. Oh, it's raining really hard, I think, right back over there. But, well, we'll see what it looks like when it moves out of the way. I'll let you know. I'm gonna try to zoom in on it. I didn't think about pulling out the camera until they got way on down the road. But that's a tandem bicycle with two people on it going 90 to nothing in the rain. Well, I got a second and I'm waiting on the rain to quit. I want to show you how good these lights are. I don't know if they, how good they show up on the video, but let me walk up to them and show you what I'm talking about. I've had the one at the bottom for a long time, but that is the flare. And that, that came with the headlight, and the headlight is doing its daytime blinky thing. You can see it hitting the wall right there. And I, I've never ran with a daylight, a light for the night. It was a little bit after 3.30 when I left out this morning. I don't know the exact time, but uh, it was total dark, so I rode in the I rode in the dark for a couple hours and I could see everything I needed to see. And I know people could see me because at night time this really kicks in. It actually has a day mode and a night mode and I think I got it in the day mode now. But uh, the night mode is even brighter. I, I'm telling you, A, B, A and B cycles uh, really hooked me up with a good light. So if you got it, if you want to do this, you want to ride at night, you got to have a good one. And this is the best top of the line they had. So, all right, thought I'd show you what it looked like. 